Hi friends! The ACRINT function is used to calculate the accrued interest for a security that pays periodic interest. Let's go ahead and see how you can use the ACRINT function in Microsoft Excel. Open the desired Excel worksheet. Here for demo purpose, we are using a worksheet according to the ACRINT function. Please check the web URL given in the video description below this video for complete details, that is syntax and remarks. We are also showing you the description of each function we are going to use here. There are three types of ACRINT functions we will use here. To use the first function, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals ACRINT, open parentheses, select the cell that contains the issue date, comma, select the cell that contains the first interest date, comma, select the cell that contains the settlement date, comma, select the cell that contains the coupon rate, comma, select the cell that contains the par value, comma, select the cell that contains the frequency, comma, select the cell that contains the type of day count basis to use, close parentheses, and then press the enter key. It will give the accrued interest according to its description. To use the second function, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals ACRINT, open parentheses, date, open parentheses, 2008, comma, 3, comma, 5, close parentheses, comma, select the cell that contains the first interest date, comma, select the cell that contains the settlement date, comma, select the cell that contains the coupon rate, comma, select the cell that contains the par value, comma, select the cell that contains the frequency, comma, select the cell that contains the type of day count basis to use, comma, false, close parentheses, and then press the enter key. It will give the accrued interest according to its description. To use the third function, select the cell where you want to get the function's result. Type equals ACRINT, open parentheses, date, open parentheses, 2008, comma, 4, comma, 5, close parentheses, comma, select the cell that contains the first interest date, comma, select the cell that contains the settlement date, comma, select the cell that contains the coupon rate, comma, select the cell that contains the par value, comma, select the cell that contains the frequency, comma, select the cell that contains the type of day count basis to be used, comma, true, close parentheses, and then press the enter key. It will give the accrued interest to its description. See, that wasn't hard at all. Thanks for watching. For more details, click on the i icon on the top right of the video. Check out our iYogi channel for self-help videos on Windows, Mac, smartphones, security, social media, and much more. Have something to ask or share? Pen it down in the comments. To get iYogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.